in Vietnam, uh, a country I have come to love, uh, I have met some of the uh, nicest people I have ever met. And I guess that's why I uh, do enjoy staying there. But there is always this one person that uh, sticks out from the crowd. And these kind of people, they just, well, they have an effect on you. They, they make you want to do better in life. One of those persons is my friend Nyan. She is a young, beautiful girl, very smart, very intelligent, and very kind. Uh, one of the kindest person I ever met. She is, like I said, she's young, and she has made it her life work to help other people, to help people in need, namely, her emphasis has been on people with glass bone, bones that break easily, the deaf. She had, she made these people a home, a work, a work in a safe work environment where they can come work and be a, a, a members of society again, helping them to step out of their isolations and into society because. Even though I do love Vietnam, their most unfortunate people, they have a rough life there. If there's something wrong, if you have, for example, these conditions being death or glass bones, it's going to be difficult for you if you have no one to help. What I also noticed, well, when I talk to her and every time I talk with her, is that being 25 years old, her, her life philosophy is so mature, it's so thought out. I, I mean, I'm 47 and I'm just, I'm not even close. And, uh, but I'm just gonna let her speak for herself in an interview i did i made with her a few weeks ago in vietnam um, two things she sings like an angel she has a beautiful singing voice and uh, because i'm doing this video now on the road uh, i'm finding shelter here from the wind to uh, so you will hear something else than the wind noise I don't have the recording uh, I did of her singing, but there is a video, you can access it here in the corner, uh, where you can see that. I Click on it and listen to her. She is amazing. And also, it's worth to mention that uh, this interview was a few weeks ago in, in Vietnam, in Hue, central Vietnam, and that day was very hot. And I was just sitting there and sweat was just dripping off me. So I'm doing a lot of this and uh, yeah, it's not because I'm uncomfortable there. It's just because, yeah, I was just like, I just came from a shower. So here's the interview. Enjoy. So hi guys, I'm here in Vietnam still uh, in Lavin Ho with its founder, Nian. Hi, hi everyone, nice to meet you. And uh, I talked about her and uh, this, uh, this uh, place before. It's a, re it's a remarkable place and she's a remarkable woman for what she's doing. I'm gonna let her introduce the place again a little bit and tell you a little bit about what's going on here. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, it's really nice to meet you and so happy for us. Today uh, we have Olive come to our little home, loving home to visit. And I would love to share you a little bit about uh, what is loving. Maybe you wonder about that, right? Uh, loving home is a small project that uh, uh, we would love to support for the uh, disadvantaged people so that would be the uh, crystal uh, bone people crystal right? bone the, the, with a bone that breaks easily yeah okay. that's right yeah. and um, also for the uh, deaf people 
Yeah, so uh, um, they come loving every day and making the flower by themselves and uh, they have the salary before uh, because they're working yeah, yeah. and um, also has some uh, crystal one people because it's quite hard for them yeah. to move in mm -hmm. so uh, in the weekend I come to visit their home and bring some material to making the paper uh, flower mm -hmm. then I showing them how to make some technique yeah. and um, after that I bring it into a bin and then sell it for them so they, they are basically too sick to be here you have to go to them yeah. because they break easily yeah, yeah that's right okay. for the crystal yeah. one yeah. And um, in the weekend, we also have some uh, like activity for the kids as well. For example, we learn some sign language or um, meditation together, or also how learn how to make in a paper flower. Yeah, and um, for that kind of workshop, I want the people who sharing for the kids will be my team member, yeah. the deaf girl. I want them can confident about themselves and also confident about their language. Yeah. yeah, they're willing to share their language and now they're not just in like a small group, mm -hmm. but they can share it, share, yeah, their share the language and also they open their heart yeah. to the other people yeah. and um, for the kids they also can learn more about really magic language yeah. it's the sign language yeah. yeah and I found it is so beautiful for the sign language every word is have a lot of meaning yeah. for example for the word thank you mm -hmm. it's like a flower from your mouth and the word thank you, it had to be when you smile. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. And when you give it to, to the other people from a bud of flower, mm. it blossom mm. and come really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's cool. So, um, so basically, you employ disadvantaged people. Yeah, that's that right. That basically, well, nobody would employ them yeah. if it wasn't for you. Yeah. You know, it's quite hard for them to uh, find a job. Yeah. Uh, in Vietnam and um, if we're looking for the government to help them it's quite difficult yeah. you know and um, the thing I want is uh, I hope that they can do it by themselves they um, work in and they have uh, money mm -hmm. they have a salary because they are doing that yeah. and more than that they also can like be more happy because they still useful to yeah. the life yeah. and every flower when they make it they give it a name and that's also like something they dream about yeah. that they dream okay. yeah. so without any support from uh, people like you they are completely dependent on well the family yeah. and if they have no family yeah. they have nothing yeah they have no they have no opportunity to provide for themselves yeah. it's yeah. quite difficult for them because um, you know it's not easy at all no. for them to uh, have a job no. yeah actually some people in my team member they also trying to find a job before but mm -hmm. It's not really um, happy um, for the salary. No. Yeah, um, even they had to work in a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they had to give up that. Yeah. yeah. And also for their family, uh, it's quite hard because they are not really lucky to born in a rich family. Yeah. yeah. So you, your uh, uh, team member are all from uh, well. Poor families. Mm, yeah. yeah. I, I would love to support more for um, for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, why how how did you start this? What inspired you to do this? Yeah, it's kind of long story, you okay. know. Um, before I met a lady mm. and. Um, she is the crystal born children and um, the funny thing when I try to looking for her home 
and even I asked in the neighbor mm. already, mm. but they don't know her. So I really wonder why, why she lived in this life for about like 24 years, but no, nobody know her. Mm. Even the neighbor, they also don't know her except in this life. But when I come to her home, um, she really inspired me by the way she's making a paper flower. She smile, feel really happy mm. each flower she make. It's not kind of a perfect flower, beautiful, more beautiful flower, but for me, it's made from her heart. Yeah. It's so it touched me that time mm -hmm. during the time she making a paper flower. She lying in the um, uh, like in a bag on the activity. It had to be in her bag. Even taking shower or changing the clothes it also had to be just in the bag. So when I come back home and um, I will think about it a lot. So I think, yeah, why don't um, me and her we together um, try to market this kind of flower? I can share with her more about uh, paper flower yeah. and we can be together, become a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, three years uh, after, um, I met some uh, um, like uh, the um, deaf girl. Mm -hmm. They're talking, it's really happy during the time they're talking. But suddenly, when they met me, they keep silent, they say nothing. So I think may it not have any distance between me and them. So I will try to not speak during one month. Yeah, I want to understand more about them as well as the language. Okay. Some people tell me you're just crazy why you can speak, why you can talk, mm. you can hear it. Yeah. But you pretend to be not speak, not hearing, mm. not speaking, not hearing. But um, I think if I want it open a home like that, I have to understand them. Yeah. And the way to understand them is the way I had to become them. <laughs> so um, when somebody tried to talk in with me, I will be using the pen and paper. I I want to feel how they feel. And after one month, it changed a lot. And I think, yeah, why not? Why not? Sometimes the life around it has so many sound. Mm -hmm. It's quite noisy. Yeah. Why we um, just um, using the heart yeah. and the paper yeah. and our hand to talking together? Yeah. Sometimes without any noise, it's also really peaceful, peaceful yeah. in our heart. Yeah. And after that, we together become a team, yeah. and we uh, give it a name in Latin. What does this mean? <laughs> La is um, like uh, the lavender, yeah. the kind of flower I really love. Okay. And I can see it says something similar between lavender and my team member. Um, for lavender, it's not really easy to um, buy just this flower mm. that in French or in Vietnam we have Dala. It's not easy to grow this flower, mm. but if we can grow in it in a suitable place, it's awesome, mm. smelling good, and it's bring a really uh, relaxing feeling. My team member is the same. Mm. They quite hard. It's quite hard for them to look in for a good job, mm -hmm. but I think maybe Lavin will be the start for them the beginning. Yeah. In the future, maybe they can find a job better in yeah. Navin, but maybe for the beginning, yeah. maybe this will be suitable for them and I hope that I can do something that can support them and make them shy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, it, the word la is also from uh, uh, do re mi fa son la oh, okay. in yeah. the middle yeah. right? in the middle of um, um brand, melody yeah. of the song yeah. it's make it feel um, really um, 
it's not so high, it's not, not so, so low, low. Yeah. it's in the middle yeah. it's normal. and it's normal yeah. and I think the life is up and down a lot mm -hmm. but if we can find something really simple in yeah. our life balance. the balance yeah. we know what is enough yeah. for our life so I think that is where you feel happiness yeah. and when you know what is enough you will be freedom in your heart and uh, that also um, the um, like um, the something that we want to say yeah our slogan yeah <laughs> where we know what is enough that is freedom yeah. that is the happiness yeah. and wind will be the vintage style yeah, yeah. the um, paper flower after we make sometimes you know it cannot keep like um, the same color mm -hmm. the color is would change of course day by day yeah. but it's the, the, the life yeah. the life is is always moving yeah. but um, what we have is the paper flower is will be lasting forever yeah. with us. Yeah. Yeah. Even it fade for the color, but it's still there. It's this together with yeah. us, mm -hmm. and that will be the vintage style we want to bring to flower. Yeah. Well, the it it looks like a name, but it's so much more than a name. It's basically your <laughs> whole life philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't, you know, I don't meet many people like her. A uh, young girl, beautiful girl, with a beautiful soul, trying, willing to do everything she possibly can to help others. It's special. It's unique. And uh, I think you're a wonderful Person. And thank you for what thank you're you doing. Thank you so much. Yeah. And hope uh, this uh, this little Latin home here will uh, flourish and uh, be, be as I'm sure it will be in your hands. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. So that's that. Amazing woman doing an amazing job. These paper flowers they are for sale. I don't know if. It's even possible to ship these from Vietnam, but you can certainly check it out if you want to. You have all her information down here in the description. Um, you can also, if you're visiting Vietnam, you can go to her. You can visit her at her place. She also runs like an like an Airbnb. You can you can you can have a room there. It's very cheap. It's very nice. It's not just a place to stay. What you can do, you can stay with them. You can make those paper flowers. You can meditate with them. Have strange teas you've never seen before. And just be around Nan. Being around her, is, it just feels good. Thank you for watching. Bye.